Hello, I'm Georgia Ann Chapin, Executive Director of Intact America, and I am greeting you on January 3rd, 2022, and I want to take a few minutes to tell you uh, a little bit about what Intact America has done in the past year and what we have planned. First of all, though, I want to wish you a Happy New Year, each and every one of you. I wish I could greet you all personally. I can't tell you how much I appreciate you uh, being part of our organization and even being sitting here, even sitting here and being willing to listen to this uh, video. So uh, with your permission, I'm going to read about our accomplishments. I can't memorize it and I can't pretend like I don't have to look at my paper, so I'm going to look down and hope you'll stick with me. 2021 was a milestone year for Intact America and for Intactivism. Change is in the air. IA began operating under independent 501c3 status with the creation of a new board of directors. We merged with Genital Autonomy America, formerly NOSERC, and Marilyn Milos now sits on IA's board of directors and serves as IA's clinical consultant. We are conducting our surveys and publishing the results. We now have proof that pregnant women and new moms are subjected to intense pressure by the medical establishment, including doctors, nurses, and other hospital personnel to cut their sons. IA has three full-time staff members and a small, smart, and strategic army of volunteers, part-time employees, and consultants who, together with you, exemplify Intact America's values. We are passionate, we are professional, we are principled, we are honest, we are strategic, and most important of all, we are uncompromising. And we are changing the way America thinks about circumcision. That's why doctors, nurses, and hospitals push so hard to sustain the American circumcision machine. If they had the facts, if they had the science, if they held the moral or ethical high ground, then they wouldn't have to ask moms over and over and over again, an average of eight times for a single baby boy, are you sure you don't want him cut? They wouldn't have to lie. They wouldn't have to resort to scare tactics. And they wouldn't lobby so hard, as the American Academy of Pediatrics does, to get the government to pay for it. This would be inexcusable at any time. But to promote this harmful, unethical, and costly violation of children during a pandemic, when the demand for nurses exceeds the supply, when there's not enough medical equipment and hospital space to treat the sick, and so many are dying without access to tests and treatment, well, it's downright insane. The pandemic will come to an end, but so must the genital cutting of children. Intact America is using our research to shape a strategy that will put on notice doctors who cut, nurses and others who enable, hospitals that provide the space and equipment, the scene of the crime, and trade associations that lean on payers to fund the violation of children's bodies. We will let them know they will be held responsible for the damage they are causing. This is a huge lift, but we will succeed. First, because we are right and our cause is just. And second, because we have you supporting our cause. Thank you for being part of our success. If you donated, thank you for that. If you could not donate, you can still play a critical role by being an out and proud intactivist, by telling your friends, family, neighbors, coworkers, call in radio programs, college newspapers and newsletters, anybody who will listen what you know to be true and how you feel about it. Stick with it and stick with Intact America. We are the winning team. Thank you for everything you do and have a happy new year.